What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Miraidon and Drift Bloom combo for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to this combo, it's pretty simple. Miraidon sets Electric Terrain, Drift Bloom has Unburdened and Electric Seeds as its item and ability. So once this Pokemon hops into Electric Terrain, those Electric Seeds are going to proc, and then Unburdened Ability is going to proc, making this thing really, really fast with a nice little defensive boost from those Seeds. Furthermore, with that speed, Drift Bloom can do a lot of different things. It's got will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers, it's got Tailwind for speed control, it's got knockoff takeoff items, and most importantly, it has Clear Smog, the proc weakness policy on Fairy Terror Miraidon, which we absolutely love. So once we get that rolling, Miraidon's just going to be an absolute special attack weapon, and it can just do big time damage all around. But yeah, that's pretty much the combo right there. But since we already talked about Drift Blim, let's get started here with Mirror Rhydon with Hadron Energy and a weakness policy as item like we already mentioned. This moveset consists of Electro Drift, Dazzling Gleam to pair up with that Fairy Terror type, it's got Full Switch to pivot out, and last but not least, it's got Protect, considering Protect is one of the best moves in doubles Pokemon. Two more Pokemon on today's team feature Incineroar and Ogre Pond, and let's be honest, I'm not even going to talk about them. You guys already know what they do. I'm getting tired of talking about Wellspring, Ogre Pond, and Incineroar in every single team. But they're just that good. You can't go wrong with those Pokemon. Our final two Pokemon on today's team going to feature Bronzong and Iron Moth. Bronzong is going to be great in Trick Room or for canceling out Trick Room. And furthermore, Iron Moth is just a solid Pokemon within the Electric Terrain because it has Quirk Drive as its ability. Furthermore, Iron Moth got Power Herb with Heat Wave, Energy Ball, Meteor Beam, and Protect. Can't really go wrong with Power Herb meteor beam combo guys what i'm gonna see for yourself run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel without further ado let's hop to our first match showcasing this drift Blim and me ride on combo now before we get started with match number one i want to give a huge shout out to geordi vgc for making this team and sending me over on twitter i'm super excited to be using this team but again if you guys want to check out his channel and the pokey pace link will be down in the description below but we're going up against a lugia team here in match number one and something that we have to watch out for is going to be raichu now raichu can be rather annoying because of fake outs but more importantly it has lightning rod. lightning rod will actually neutralize all of our electric moves so we ride on you gotta watch out for that thing but lugia over here Nice bulky Pokemon, we gotta kinda stop it from setting up Combine. They also have Suicune, they got Illusion Zoroark, Ogre Pond, and Gouging Fire. Now from here, they have no terrain control, so I think Drift Blim and Miraidon going to be a great little lead for us, so that is exactly what I wanna do here. I'm gonna go into both of them, try to pull off the combo, and kinda just go from there. Furthermore, we can bring in Iron Moth, great little Pokemon, especially because they cannot change terrain. And last but not least, are we gonna go Incineroar, or are we gonna go in with Ogre Pond? Trying to think here, what would be better? What would be, be better? I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond here. I know that Intimidate and Fake Outs are really good, but Ogre Pond's typing and uh, yeah, just his typing is just really solid. So I like it here. I like it here. So we're hopping into our first match. So let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I'm looking just to pull off this combo right off the rip, right? Nothing's better than when I showcase what I want to showcase in match number one. It's just, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. So gonna look to try to pop weakness policy. Hopefully Raichu's not here because if Raichu is being led, then chances are they're just gonna fake out. And yeah, they are gonna do that. So they're just gonna fake out my Miraidon, which is okay. They're gonna fake out Miraidon and then just go into probably Combine. That makes the most sense. That makes the most sense. So honestly, in our best interest, we should just protect Miraidon and maybe just set up a Tailwind? Or I could knock off Lugia's item. I could do multiple things. I mean, we already outspeed these guys, correct? I mean, you're fast, aren't you? You're you're a fast boy. Yeah, you're 205. You're a fast boy. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe to just go into a uh, a knockoff here and try to take off Lugia's item because most likely, it's probably it's probably like leftovers or something that we just don't want to deal with. So I'm just gonna protect me right on here. We're gonna read that a fake out is coming into the me right on slot. And we should take off Lugia's item, right? Correct? Yep. Easy calls. Easy calls all day. So there's that. Let's see what Lugia wants to end up doing here. What you got, Lugia? Knockoff's gonna fly into this slot. Do about negative six. And I'm gonna take off its Razor Claw. Okay, that's actually good for me. We're not trying to deal with critical hits here. So get rid of its Razor Claw. Combine is going to boost. And I think from here, it's pretty standard that we just go for, uh... I think it's pretty standard that we just go for, uh... Clear smog into me right on. We terrasize him. We go for Dazzling Gleam. 
I think we gotta do that. That's gonna be my play. That is gonna be the play all day. Looking just to do this, they might end up terrestrializing Lugia here. Probably not. I mean, they have the like, which is just perfect. It's just a perfect little ability. So I'm not. I'm not trying to deal. With that. I'm not trying to deal with lightning right here. The clear smile gonna fly through here. They're gonna pop the weakness policy. They're gonna go plus two on special attack. I'm gonna hope that Raichu isn't focus dash, but most likely, it probably is, right? It most likely is. Lugia is scaring me a little bit, being plus one on special attack and special defense. We kind of have to just start getting after it. It's so bulky as well. Well, comes to Dazzling Gleam with the Terra Boost, and it's going to do some nice damage all around. E-Web's going to fly, and who's dodging this? Miraidon's going to dodge. That's pretty good. So Miraidon dodges, and I'm kind of curious to see who is faster. I'm actually really curious. I'm hoping Drift Bloom's still faster, because I would love to just drop an electric move here. I would love to KO Raichu with a knockoff. How fast are you, Drift Bloom, here? I don't know if you're faster. I really hope you're faster. I mean, now's the time to set up a Tailwind, though. And just go for another Dazzling Gleam. That's what I'm going to do here. Another Dazzling Gleam going to fly through here. I really want to Drift Bloom to outspeed just so I can KO the Raichu, get rid of Lightning Rod, and then send an Electric Drift the Lugia's way. But I just don't think Drift Bloom's outspeeding with that minus one drop. But out finally comes to Terra onto Lugia, and chances are this is Ground Terra, right? A lot of Lugia has been rocking Ground Terra, and yeah, it is Ground Terra. So good thing I didn't go into Electric Move. We are staying with this. We are staying with this Dazzling Gleam. So I'm hoping we can eat up a shot here. And yeah, it, it was actually a good call that Miraidon is faster. But I'm hoping we can eat up a shot. We can get off another turn, or we can get off this Tailwind as well. So we get a crit on Raichu. It didn't matter. Raichu's gonna drop out here. And from here, Tailwind is going to fly. So we got Tailwind cooking. Lugia could be going for a recover. That is a possibility. He's just going to go for Earth Power. So Earth Power is going to fly into me right on. Can you soak this? You can. Awesome. I was going to say, Lugia, not that big of a threat on the uh, on the offensive side. But now they're just going to go into Suicune. Which I could just actually hit hard. I could just hit hard. I could just hit hard. And you know what? I'm just going to clear spot, get rid of Lug all Lugia's stat changes. And honestly, just stick with Dazzle Gleam. Let's stick with Dazzling Gleam. Actually, let's just go for an Electro Drift here. Let's just look to get rid of Suicune. Suicune might protect. And no, it doesn't. So we're just going to get rid of Suicune. Awesome. The Suicune, gone. Get it all out of my face. Not dealing with it anymore. And I know my Drift Bloom outspeeds. We got Tailwind up from last turn. And now we can just go for a Clear Smog and get rid of all your stat changes. Get on out of here. All even now. And now Aero Blast Fire Can you soak this? I was going to say, there's a chance you soaked that, but I was only on 51 HP. I'll take that all day. So we got Lugia down low HP. It's not plus on any stats anymore. And from here, I can just bring out Ogre Pond. I think Ogre Pond is just perfect here. Or I can bring out you. You're actually pretty good here, especially in the electric terrain. What stat are you going to boost? You're going to boost your speed. I mean, Ogre Pond is just solid all around. I'm going to go into Iron Moth. I mean, we only have a few turns left in electric terrain. Plus, I'm not worried about Lugia, as it's not Calm Mind. And they're going to throw out Ogre Pond. It's going to be Grass Ogre Pond, right? Yeah, it's fine. I can just rip Heat Waves. I can just rip Heat Waves. Beautiful. So from here, I'm honestly just going to double down into this Ogre Pond. Actually, do I double down into Ogre Pond? Hmm. One turn left in Terrain, two turns left in Tailwind. Yeah, I mean, we can double down to Ogre Pond. Just make sure that it dies out. Spiky Shield's gonna fly. Okay, no big deal. And Lugia's just gonna look to KO one of my Pokemon. But from here, I still have one turn left in Tailwind. It's gonna work wonders. And Electrain is gonna be gone. But Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Not KO the Lugia. Lugia's really bulky. Clear Smog is just gonna get blocked. And we'll see what Lugia wants to do here. Probably just KO my Iron Moth with Earth Power, right? No, it goes for a recover. So it chooses to go for a recover here. I'm just gonna throw a burn on that Pokemon, to be honest here. Stop dealing with that, right? I mean, Earth Power would've just KO'd me. But yeah, I'm gonna throw a burn onto Lugia. I'm not, I'm not really too worried about... Actually, yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about Lugia, because I got Ogre Pond in the back end. So I'm just gonna go into a Heat Wave again. I'm just gonna throw a Clear Smog into this slot. Just try to make sure that this Ogre Pond dies out. Right? 
Yeah, he was gonna connect. This should KO, right? Yeah, get it all out of here. Okay, so now we're sitting in a perfect position. I got rid of the Ogre Pond. I have my Ogre Pond to finish off Lugia. I'm just not worried about it. I'm just not worried about it. So Lugia ends up going for Earth Power. Earth Power last turn would have been the better play. It would have been the better play, but hey, I'll take it all day. If they would have Earth Power last turn, I would have thrown out Ogre Pond here. Um, and I still feel like we would have won this game, right? I would have probably just threw a burn onto the Ogre Pond instead of attacking it. But this works perfectly. This works perfectly. From here, we're just going to throw a burn onto the Slugia because he's going to do more damage. And we'll just go for an Ivy Cudgel to look to finish off the match. Lovely little Will O Wisp. But yo, I love this Drifwim and Rhydon combo. Drifwim's just thriving out here with support moves, going crazy. And then Rhydon's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage on the special attacking side. But Arrow Blast going to fly through here. And I'm surprised you're outspeeding me. And I'm surprised I ate that, even with a crit. Luckily we did, we honestly would have lost if we didn't. Ivy Cudgel flies through here, and we finish off the match. There it is ladies and gentlemen, GG's to our opponent. We start off things 1-0. Moving on to our second match, we are sitting 1-0, but we're going up against a Kiram White Snow team, and we have no weather control. But another thing that they don't have is terrain control, so we got terrain, they got weather, let's get after this. But for our lead, I think Driftblim and Mirai are going to be pretty solid for us, and something that they don't realize that my... Me ride on has is going to be dazzling gleam so i think maybe we can get off a big time shot on the kirim with dazzling gleam all that good stuff so that's what i'm going to try to do i'm going to end up leading both of them they're probably going to lead their snow combo with lola nine tails and kirim which i don't mind i don't mind from here we could go iron moth because we will have terrain control for the rest of the match and last but not least we either go ogre pond or incineroar and looking at their team incineroar is not bad but but i think we're going to need ogre pond and the reason I think we're going to need Ogre Pond is to deal with their Incineroar and maybe deal with their Ogre Pond. Yeah, I got to watch out for Freeze Strike too. And freeze Strike could be a problem, but we do have Pokemon that can deal with that the Ice combo, so I like having Ogre Pond here. I like having Ogre Pond. Let's see who they end up leading. Like I said, it should be the Snow combo, and if it is, I don't really mind. They're probably going to just set up in War Veil. But at that point, I should be able to get off a big time Dash and Gleam weakness policy popped before they even move, right? Because my Pokemon are just so much faster. So let's see, Ninetales and Tornadoes. Okay, so they want to set up the Tailwind. They want to set up the Tailwind. So they're going to set up Tailwind, they're going to set up a War Veil. That's exactly what they want to do here. And I mean, I don't blame them. I do not blame them. So they're going to go Tailwind, they're going to go a War Veil. I think from here, we should now, do we pop Tailwind to match our energy? Or do we just start attacking? That's the real question. That is the real question. I mean, they're going to outspeed us if they just go Tailwind for and a War Bell. Makes the most sense. So I think we just start attacking. I think we just go into that. I think we Terrestrialize. And we just Dazzle Gleam here. Even if they have a War Bell, we are boosting our special attack like crazy. We should still do a ridiculous amount of damage. And then be able to go for Tailwind next turn. That's in my best interest. So we'll tear it into Fairy right here, right now. And we'll get after it. I'm just hoping we, get, we can get off a Tailwind next turn. That's what I'm really hoping, right? I'm really hoping we can pull off the Tailwind next turn, because that could be massive. Right here, I Terrasalize. They're going to go for Tailwind. They're going to go for a War Veil. That's fine. No big deal. Maybe I should have popped Tailwind this turn. I maybe should have popped Tailwind this turn. Yeah, because if I would have popped Tailwind this turn, we would have outsped the next turns. So Clear Smog's going to fly here. We're going to launch a Dazzling Gleam. It's going to do a nice chunk of damage, but honestly, Driftwood might outspeed some Tailwind users here. So there's this, all these boosts right here, and Dazzling Gleam is now going to fly. So I'm kind of hoping we we uh, we don't KO any of these Pokemon, and we don't. That's cool, because the reason I say that is because I think Driftwood could soak up some shots here, rather than like if I KO and they throw out Kiram. So I'm just going to go for Tailwind here. I think now's a good turn for me to just protect, and kind of go from there. So I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to try to set up the Tailwind. If I can get that off, that's going to be pretty huge for us. And we'll see what they want to do. I would think like Blizzard and Leak Wind Storm. Just double attacking. And again, I'm really hoping Drifloom could just soak in. They're going to go for a Moonblast instead. That works perfectly. So I'm going to be able to get off this Tailwind. We love it. I can then just dash and clean, pick up a double KO. And I go from there. Awesome. And now we have the staggered Tailwind turns as well. We have the staggered Tailwind turns, which is great because once their Tailwind ends, I'm going to have one turn within the Tailwind. 
Awesome. So Bleak Windstorm's gonna fire. No speed drop, hopefully. Of course it's a speed drop. Of course! Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. Now from here, honestly, we should just swap into Iron Moth. Because it's a free swap because I know Dazzling Gleam's outspeeding. I know we should be able to pick up the KO. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna be able to bring out my Iron Moth in the electric chain for a couple turns. Dazzling Gleam should pick up the double KO. We should be able to go from there. Cool. I like it a lot. And Iron Moth's gonna be super fast because not only is it in Tailwind, it's Quirk Drive's boosted into speed. Awesome. So we swap into the Iron Moth. Protect comes out from Tornadus. No big deal. And we're going to say bye-bye to Ninetales. Ninetales, get on out of here. We're not dealing with you anymore. Get on out of here. And I got Meteor Beam ready to fly, too. Meteor Beam is ready to fly. And I'm ready to use the Lashic moves. So even through your little Aurora Veil, I mean, right on still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ooh, I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting right now. We got some speed. Miraidon's plus two on special attack. They're probably going to throw out Kirim. Or they might save Kirim. No, they're going to end up going Ogre Pond. I don't mind. I think Electro Drift should just KO that. I think Electro Drift can KO that. I'm going to go for Meteor Beam in this slot. And I'm going to go for an Electro Drift. How about that? How about that? Even through a War Belt, I think we still have a hot chance of KOing. Just because we got Terrain Boost. We got Hadron Energy Boost. Furthermore, we're plus two on special attack. The damage stacks are just ridiculous. And it's stab. I forgot to mention stab. So they're going to end up terrestrializing into Ogre Pond. Because now we're super effective. Okay, you're, you're most likely dead. I know you get the special defense boost. But just allowing us to have an electric move that's super effective onto you. It's a big mistake. Big mistake. The Meteor Beam going to fly here. We're going to get rid of Tornadus. This match is looking so good for us. Like I said, you can have weather, don't just give me the terrain, and I'm just taking full advantage of this terrain. Meteor Beam flying, I love how it just turns into like a star there, it just brings its wings all together. Dumps on you, I'm now plus one on special attack. And Electro Drift, like I said, it should KO this I'll be surprised if it doesn't. Be really surprised if it doesn't. Yeah, get on out of here, even through your Aurora Veil. Your Aurora Veil, your special defense boost, get on out of here. Not dealing with you. You're going. Now, their final Pokemon, most likely going to be Kiram. We're sitting here looking to kind of just sweep here. And their Tailwind ends. Yeah, it's over. Game set match. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. We can now just Electro Drift into this. We can drop a Heat Wave. Both my Pokemon are boosted on Special Attack. Kiram stands. No chance. Not a single chance. Not a single chance. I can see him just canceling battle. It's all over here. It is all over. We're going to go for, for the Heat Wave. We're actually just going to go for Dazzling Gleam instead. Because it is super effective. And I'll be surprised if they stay on the field here. More than surprised. They do stay on the field. That's crazy. Heat Wave's going to fly. Do almost half. Dazzling Gleam. Definitely going to finish this off. Super effective. Terra boost it. Plus two on special attack. Get on out my face. There's a sweep for you guys in match number two. Moving on to our final match. And we're going up against Ice Rider Calyx. Now, Ice Rider Calyx is actually the most used winning restricted Pokemon in Regulation G. So, this Pokemon, phenomenal. It's going to be tough to actually stop. But furthermore, this team is a trick team. They got Chestnut. They got Torkoal. They got Grafia. And they got Rage Bull. And Indeedee. Cannot forget about Indeedee. But another thing that I like, no terrain control. Which means Drift Blimp, Miraidon. Let's go. Let's get after it. We're actually going to be bringing Bronxon here. Bronxon's going to be a great Pokemon within the Trick Room if they do set it up. And last but not least, we're going Iron Moth. Again, they have no terrain control. My terrain Pokemon are just going to thrive out. Here. So we have Bronxon in the back end, maybe to cancel out Trick Room or to just thrive out in there because I can always rock an Iron Defense, bulk up a little bit, and kind of get after the battle that way. But I like this team so far. We are 2 and We are lighting it up with the squad. Absolutely lighting it up. I think I'll go Grafia alongside with Raging Bolt. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I don't mind it at all. Grafia, I don't really know what you want to do here. I know you're Prankster, but I'm kind of drawing a blank on what Grafias usually do. Because what I want to do here is just go for a Clear Spog. And pop Weakness Policy. But you could be going for a, what's it called? Which could be annoying. You could be going for a Thunderclap. I don't know if I like that, but we're going to hope that you're not, and we're just going to pop weak this policy, because Thunderclap might just KO me, right? 
super effective stab in terrain. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for my Driftwind, but we're, we're just gonna hope that you're not doing that. Maybe you're gonna go for Calm Mind. You got options here. You got options, but we're gonna Terrasalize the Mirror Eidon yet again. This combo is just ridiculously strong. I love it so much. So we're going into the Fairy Terror type. You guys already know what's going on. Clear Smile gonna pop this policy. And we should have fingers crossed for no Thunderclap here, right? I don't see a Terror come out here. From Raging Bolt? It's gotta be Raging Bolt. No Waker Fire. Yeah, Raging Bolt. Into Fairy. So we go Fairy for Fairy. Um, hmm. Just no Thunderclap. I'm cool with no Thunderclap here. Parting Shot. Oh man, you go Parting Shot. How dare you? How dare you? So instead of being plus two, I'm only gonna be plus one. The fire. So annoying, man. Dropping my special attack just like that. So now they get to bring out another Pokemon. And as long as they're not going for Thunderclap, we should be fine. And you do change terrain. So that's actually really smart. It's actually really smart. Getting rid of my Hadron energy. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Psychic Seed's popping as well, giving him a special defense boost. The special defense is boosted here. Clear Smog is going to thrive out here. Cool. They're not going for Thunderclap. And I'll be able to pop a Dazzling Gleam. Being plus two. Actually, I'm plus, I'm plus two again. I cleared the stat changes first. Oh my god, I love it. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. We clear the minus one first, and then we pop Weakness Policy. We love it. We love it. So we're doing still a nice chunk of damage to Raging Bolt. This thing's going to Bolt Switch out. It's probably going to go back into Grafia. Maybe not. Maybe not. You might go into, like, Ice Rider Calyrex here. We pretty much know their team now. I know. They're going in Chestnut. So we know their whole team. They don't have Ice Rider Calyrex, which is odd. And I think from here, we just throw a nice big-time burn. And we should go for Electro Drift, right? Into Indeedee. Yeah, I'm going to go Electro Drift, and I'm just going to go... Actually, I'm going to double down into Indeedee. No, I'm not. I'm going to burn Chestnut. I'm burning Chestnut. He's going to end up going for a Wide Guard. LOL, we're not doing that anymore. We're not going for Dazzling Gleam. You just wasted a turn. And I would think you're going for a Trick Room here. That's kind of why I wanted to double down into Indeedee, but I think Electro Drift should be able to pick up the KO. I think it should. Let's see. Electro Drift thriving out here. And KO? All day, baby. Yo, I love this team. This team's awesome. This team's so much fun. It's so good. So we have the burn on Chestnut, who is a physical attacker. We got rid of Indeedee. They'll probably throw back out Grafia here. And maybe try to parting shot. But Raging Bolt stands no chance. Another Dazzling Gleam will KO. But they are just going to go into Grafia here. Again, they could go for parting shot into me. Um, if they do, we are just going to go into an Electro Drift again, into Grafia. And from here, now we're just going to pop a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. Actually, we don't even need it. From here, we're just going to knock off Chestnut's item. He's going to go for a Doodle. But Mariah's protected by Second Terrain. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Doodle. I don't, I don't even, even really know what Doodle does. I was thinking it would just copy Electro Drift. That's what I was thinking. But Electro Drift... Dumping on Grafia, get it on at my face. And even without the Hadron Energy Electric Terrain, we're still just wiping out the squad. Rockside's gonna attack. Dripwim's able to soak. This thing's doing like negative five damage. <laughs> Thank you, Burn. Yo, that's gonna be two sweeps, it looks like. I might just hard swap just so we can get the sweep. I'm gonna hard swap just so we can get the sweep. I'm going for Dazzling Gleam here. I'm going for Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to hard swap into my uh, Iron Moth. Battle was canceled. Yep, back-to-back -back sweeps to end off today's video. We go 3-0 and we grab ourselves a perfect record. Honestly, guys, I expected this team to be good, but I didn't expect it to be this good. This team was phenomenal. We ride on a top-tier restricted Pokemon, pairing up with Drifblim, who was phenomenal with Clear Smog to pop Wiggins Policy, and to get rid of stat changes on other Pokemon. We ride on strong enough as it is, but giving it a plus two boost just makes it ridiculous. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.